welcome back guys to another vlog hope you're all doing well and hope you'll enjoy this one but first we need some lights because it's dark over here too let me get these on so perfect all right so hold up perfect the game plan now is i need to tackle up some things on a silver one because the front cross member is down i need to get another one up so i can remove that car from the lift and get the pink one up there so i can start doing stuff or bringing it back roadworthy because i still want to drive that car asap as soon as the good weather hits <laughs> so i can enjoy it again after a long time quick show off i got a random goodie for 50 bucks i really don't need it but i thought why not fuck it I got this one an old blitz boost controller I mean it's it's an okay shape it's everything that I need for that I think the harness I thought for 50 bucks I get it I don't know there's no need for that right now but hey fuck it and just a quick little update on the room we got a TV, we got some sound, some speakers, we got Hot Wheels hanging, like the favorite ones, all the S13s, GTR or R chassis, we got the ZX, the Zs, we also got a PS2, I got for, I think it was 40 bucks some old school games like this one which is pretty fun very nostalgic reminds me of my younger days this one this is a great game makes lots of fun and the tunability you can do to the cars is rad for such an old game still waiting for my GT4 because the GT4 was the one game I played the most back in my younger days. We also got a coffee machine because I love coffee. So my dad bought me also a new compressor as a present for Christmas. It's a bigger one, stronger one than the old one I used. The sand blasting stuff is going much better with this one to be honest it's red and i got some stuff for the pink one Whoops. um all the interior stuff back seats i still not need to find some buckles for the rear seats because i sold them 2017 i think sadly i was an idiot young boy stupid but okay we got it. Sadly they are facelift as you can see on a trim style but for just getting something back in there it's okay. Maybe I'm gonna send these out to reupholster. That would be red but still enough time for that. Up to that the trunk shit um, I forgot the name and the interior stuff more, even more up there for the whole car so uh, basically I got everything I just need to put it back in that's why I said this one needs to come down and this one needs to get up here so the next thing I need is that cross member over there the restored one I had on my 1J S13 which I sold I still have the front and rear cross members because they are restored, power coded and the 
steering rack is in pretty good shape so I need to get this one up on a silver one let's tackle this just quick I got these wheels from a friend they're one piece race Vesta or something I don't even know but they look pretty red the valve is broken so I got a flat one but that's no problem I need to get new tires anyway and a new valve stem yeah does look cool not gonna lie the rear ones but they are kind of sunken in I'm not a huge fan of wheel spacers I got some laying around but I don't know I think I'll go without wheel spacers doesn't look that good but better than the stock wheels for sure As I removed the old cross member, I had the great idea to keep everything in place except the cross member itself. So I need to somehow get this everything fitted again, but that shouldn't be a problem. <sighs> So we got the front end situation situated, it is all mounted up except the tension bars, tension rods, whatever. I need to find the other one because I have no idea where I left it, but that should be a problem for tomorrow. Yeah, it's almost ready to get back on the ground and repark everything. Wheels mounted. Uh, the cross member. So it is beautiful and shiny and doesn't really fit with everything in here, but that's okay. Better than nothing. A little crusty action going on here. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> oh Jesus, I need to get on track with this because this boggles my mind to be honest look at the brake rotor fuck me okay but that's it for today tomorrow we work on the rest to get it back on the ground perfect so that's it for today I'll work tomorrow on this thing again and film again. 
see you tomorrow. Bonjour, another day. Uh, today we will still work on a silver boy because I need to get it done. And more? Yeah, I got a package. Hold up. So, the package from Jimmy Oaks arrived, finally. Didn't take too long. Trash. Yes. So, what do we got here? We got some cup holders. Oops. We got some more cup holders, but with another branding, because it's nice. What else? We got some stickers, we got some key tags. I love those, man. Whoop. Yeah, perfect. Cool quality. We got some stickers. We got a beanie because it gets kind of cold in a workshop, so I thought that would be a great way to keep my ears warm. Right, more stickers. I kind of dig the new shit he drops. Pretty cool. We got some flags because flags are always cool. And we got a hoodie. That's about it. So, this is how the workshop looks right now. Messy. I gotta clean that, but first I need to switch through the cars. I got this one ready and ready to get the pink one on a lift. But I gotta say, the whole stuff we built does look cool. Looks cozy, looks way cozier than it did before. So let's tackle this. So I got this little quick starter a few days ago and now it's time to test it out. Hopefully it does what it says. I paid like 60 Swiss francs for that in Aldi it was and I hope it does what it promises. Quick little update, it works, it does what it says, except this one fell apart, but I fixed it again, sadly, but nothing major. The important thing is, this works. Perfect, goodbye, huh? I'm gonna use it a few times, I guess, and also has a light, and got some USBs. So it also works as a power bank, which is kind of nice, so I can charge some things on the way. Perfect! <laughs> so, we got the 13 on the lift, up there. I've... It's about over one year since I've seen the bottom part of this car. Sadly, let's have a quick look. So, I can see some leakage. I need to fix that. But so far, some scrapes. So, I did the whole underbody when I was my apprentice. That was like four years ago. And I haven't driven it since like 
enough but does look okay my ghetto subframe spec multicolored bullshit something I don't know <laughs> so perfect all right let's move on I need to get this one back here I'm gonna do that right now so it is done and I can do other stuff little update we got the things sorted the cars are switched and the pink one is on the lift ready to start working on it hopefully tomorrow man I can't wait for the pipe X body kit that will be coming on soon the USDM or JDM rear bumper that will look way better than this crap and I need to see what I'm gonna do about the five log swap because I still want to do that and another point which I just saw a few minutes earlier is that these wheels hit the coilovers inside so I would need some spacers still Maybe I'll go for a set on the back and on the front just to get it more fitting. Alright, that's it for today. 